Hello together, welcome to a new video series here on the Multiplex YouTube channel. My name is Jan Niklas and today it's all about the Emlink transmitters. Many of you thought about buying a new transmitter. We help you with your decision what transmitter is the best for you. Today it's all about the Cockpit SX. We start with the basic functions and then take a look on the menu structure. So let's get to the technical features of the Cockpit SX. The Cockpit is available as a 9 or a 12 channel system, it's updatable at any time, it's very easy to program and you have real wide programming options. It includes a TFT color touch display and an outstanding speech assistant. With the cockpit you get an extremely long range thanks to the IO80 antenna system. The sticks are ball beard and highly precise. And you get an operating time from about 12 hours. After turning on the cockpit SX you will see the start page here. If you look in the lower right corner you see the battery state, then in the middle the actual time, in the lower left corner the actual model name, then you will see the trimmings here, on the upper right corner you see the actual flight mode and what's really cool about the cockpit, if you do sliding and tipping you can use it like a smartphone, but in the details we will see the next video session. So let's get direct to the main menu. When we see the main menu, we can see that it's structured really clear into the 9 icons. In this session, we don't want to talk too much about details, so let's take a look at the menu point transmitter, then M-Link settings. Here are all the important features included that you need for launching and receiver. For example, the binding mode, but you can also set up your failsafe. At the menu point model specific settings you can go to the sub menu point model type and here you can select the pre-configured model types. In my case for programming the Multiplex Acromaster Pro the model type Agro is the right one but depending on what model type you use you can also select Delta. Here you have a pre-configured Delta mixer. Another cool thing if you have a glider you can also select glider and then switch between 2, 4 or 6 flap glider. And in case of having a V-tail, you can also select it with just one click. At the menu point transmitter settings, we can go direct to the submenu point control assignment. Here you can easily assign your controls or just switch your flight mode. So the actual mode is mode 2, but if we here click on rudder on the left stick, and then switch it to aileron, we have switched mode 2 to mode 4 within just a few clicks. In the menu point servo, under the sub menu point servo mapping, you can select any free function you want to any free servo output channel. For example, at channel 1, aileron left is selected, but I can also switch to throttle. And if I now switch from servo mapping to the sub menu point servo monitor, I can see that the channels 1 and 4 are moving if I move my throttle stick. So I always have a good overview what's actually set it. We took a further look to the menu points timer and telemetry in the next video. In the last menu point, teacher, pupil and simulator mode, you can use the cockpit if you have a simulator and you can also use it as a teacher or as a pupil transmitter. That's it for today. In the next video we start direct with the programming of the Acromaster Pro with the Cockpit SX. I really hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to Multiplex YouTube channel. See you in the next one. Goodbye. Welcome to the second part of the Emlink Transmitter Workshop. My name is Jan Niklas. At the first part we talked about the basic functions of the Cockpit SX 
And now in this part we do direct the programming of the Acromaster Pro and I also show you some real cool features like the telemetry assistant and also the voice assistant. So let's get now to the programming of the Multiplex Acromaster Pro. We'll leave the start screen with one click and get now to the main menu. Then we go to model memory and then we are creating our new model memory for the Acromaster with starting the wizard. The next step is to select the free model memory. In our case it's 11. Then you select the model type, in our case Acro. And then you enter the model name. So after we have typed the model name Acromaster Pro, we confirm with enter and switch to the next point. Like I already described in the first cockpit video, we can choose our model type here and also select if we have a retail, we don't have one, so let's go ahead to the next step. Here we can choose if we want to have flight modes. In the case of using flight modes, we can have our separate trimmings for each flight mode. We don't need it with this model, that means we deselect it, but we want to use throttle trimming and also M-Link fast response for a faster data transfer. And we also want the throttle check. This is a real cool safety function to get sure that after turning on the cockpit, the throttle stick is at idle position. I think this function is really helpful. That's the reason I use it. In the next step, we select our control mode. I fly mode two. That means I have to switch from aileron to rudder on my left stick. Elevator and throttle are also okay for mode two. With these two functions I can assign the roles at the back side of my cockpit. For me this selection is good, then I go to the next step. In the next point, switch mapping, I assign the switches to the functions that I need. In my case I want to use dual rate for my high and my low rates of the Acromaster. That means the first step is to move the switch that I want the function to be selected with. Then the move switch is getting highlighted in this graphic. And the second step is to choose dual rate from the table below. In the next menu point sound mapping, we can assign the sounds to our different functions. I use dual rate, so it's always good to know if I'm actually having the low rates or the high rates. That means I'm switching to the high rates and select the sound 3D. 3D. Then I'm switching to the low rates and select the sound normal. Normal. And then switch to the next point. In the next point, Emling settings, you can bind our receiver, you can also start a range check, and you can set your failsafe. In the point zero settings, we can set our endpoints, our zero points, and also change the direction. And I show you an example of the aileron right now that I always see the actual position of my aileron stick if I'm moving it here. When I tip on a point of the diagram, I can reverse the servo direction and I can also set the zero and the endpoints here. There are two possibilities to change the servo, zero or endpoints. The first possibility is to change the value here on the left and the second possibility is to track the point on the diagram here on the right and move it to the position that I want it to. In case of using more than one servo for a rudder, I can also switch from three points to five points. The next menu point is called mixer. We don't need a mixer here in the Acromaster. That means we can directly switch to the next point. At the menu point control settings, we can set our dual rates. That means we tip on the value for dual rate one. In my case, I want for the low rates 50%, that means I have to type it and then confirm it with enter. And now we can see that we have our high rates, the 3D rates and the low rates, the normal rates. For the Acromaster Pro, I prefer an expo value of minus 40%. That means I have to type it in and confirm it with enter. And now we can also see the curve of the expo function in the diagram. The next step is to saving all our settings here. The next step is to assign the servo functions to the right channels. 
that means I have to switch to the servo menu and then to servo mapping. On channel 1 I have aileron left, that's ok. On channel 2 I have aileron right, that means I have to select it. At channel 3 I have the elevator. At channel 4 I assign my rudder. At channel 5 I have the throttle. And I have installed a ring stubby in my Acromaster Pro. That means I will need another channel. Therefore I use my roller at the back side of the cockpit and select flap left. Now all my servo output channels are assigned. Before we start flying we have to choose a timer. That means we have to go to the menu point timer. Here we can select between two different timers. In this case I take timer 1, the engine run time. Now I have to assign a start switch for the timer. The switch that's automatically assigned is the throttle. Then I set a time, in my case 5 minutes. Then I confirm with enter and release this menu point. Now we have also the possibility to select a second timer. I don't need it right here in this case. Because of this I go back to the main menu. Then I switch to the start page and I can see here that my timer with 5 minutes is shown on this page. The selected threshold for the timer of the throttle stick is 10%. That means if I exceed the 10% with my throttle stick, the timer is running. Now I want to tell you something about telemetry. That means we have to go to the telemetry menu and then to the menu point sensor addresses. The different sensor addresses can be displayed and announced. I have installed a ring stubby, that means I have displayed the gyro modes and the gain values. But the announcement function I just selected for the receiver voltage and the signal quality. If we take a look at design, we see that the sound is turned off. That means we have the possibility to activate the timer announcement or the announcement of the telemetry data or an alternating announcement of the telemetry data and the timer output. So let's take a look at the telemetry display. That means we switch to the main menu, then slide one to the left. And what we see here is the receiver voltage, the signal quality and all the values from my ring stubby. In the moment when I activating my ring stubby, we can see here that the gain values are automatically getting updated. That's it for today. Now you know everything you have to know about to start with the Cockpit SX. I not only fly the Acromaster Pro with my cockpit, I also fly all my other giant scale models with the Cockpit SX. But that you will see in another video. If you did like the video, subscribe to Multiplex YouTube channel and leave a like. See you in the next one. Bye.